Hey guys, Steph here, and fall is almost upon us, so today I thought I would count down my top five new Asian dramas of fall 2014. Also stay tuned to the end of the video to see if you are the winners of the Lee Min Ho and John Kun Sa giveaway contest! And number five, I've got the Korean drama, Liar Game. What would you do for a crap ton of money? What would you do to stay out of debt? Would you lie? This Korean remake due out this season tackles just that dilemma. And it has yet to have a set cast, but it's based off of one of the most popular Japanese dramas of all time. So popular, in fact, that it had multiple beloved seasons. And in the fact that it only has 11 episodes and is therefore a pretty short drama, probably gonna have to drum on it because because I'm guessing that only one episode is going to come out each week. But that's okay. Because it's a game! And it's drama thumping! And number four is the Japanese drama Nobugana Concerto. Oguri Shun plays a high schooler who's really great at the sports, but not so much at the studying. And for some reason, he goes back in time to 1549, where he meets this doppelganger who just happens to be named No. Uh, no Bugana, who's the son of a warlord and magistrate. Problem is that kid has no power in them bones, and so Oguri Shun has to help him, and together they try to unite Japan. High school kid uniting Japan. But what I really want to know is, can Oguri Shun actually convincingly play a high schooler anymore? I mean, he's 32 peoples! Talk about a time lord. And number three is the Taiwanese drama Game of Lies. Not to be confused with Liar Game, this one stars Ella Chen as a writer, novelist, whose novel gets rejected right about the same time she loses her part-time job. So she creates a pseudo name, X, who, by which she publishes popular writings that she despises. Her boyfriend, played by Chris Liu, can't quite understand his girlfriend's obsession with this mysterious X. But he wants to remain with her, and this one also stars Vivi Lee and Jet Li. Yes, Jet Li. And number two is the Korean drama Neil Do Cantabile. Do you like romantic comedies that border on the slapstick? How about classical music reinvented? This one's a remake of the Japanese hit No Dame Cantabile, starring Juwon and Shim Eun Kyung. Did I get that right? As mismatched music students who have a whole lot of talent and even bigger dreams. But can they make them come true? together. Also totally worth it for Gershwin being played on a Melodica by somebody in a mascot uniform. Like, totes. And my number one Asian drama of fall 2014 is the Japanese drama Time Spiral. Speaking of Time Lords, cats! I could end it there, but I'll continue. Gak plays a professor who's also a time traveler, who meets a student played by Kuroke Meisa, who is kidnapped as a child and, due to trauma, relies heavily on her friend, played by Yuta Hiraoka. This one is pretty compelling. Doesn't hurt that it's graced by some of the most attractive faces in Japan, though I'm pretty sure Gak just had some help along the way. Still love you, Gak. Still love you. Last week's question, if you were Crystal, who would you choose? L or Rain? And L, we love you, but Rain overpowered this one. I'm a big Rain fan too. Rain for the win! For this week, which country is looking the strongest for the fall drama season? Korea, Taiwan, or Japan? Click this link or the link in the description box below to vote, or leave your answers down in the YouTube comments and we'll find out the winner next week! I'm announcing the winners of these bad boys in the end cards, so stay tuned, it's coming up in just a moment. Also check out all my social media, links in the description box below. Click the like button on this video, give it a big thumbs up, and subscribe you guys for Asian drama and life in Korea videos. That's it! Happy watch- DRAMA WATCHING! See ya! For the winners of the Jonkun Suck postcards, we are actually looking through the comments on YouTube trying to find one of the more fun, attractive comments, and we actually found this comment in the spam folder! Somebody marked this as spam! It's an amazing idea. I totally want to make it as into a top five sometimes very soon. Um, so, Man M, congratulations! You get the Jonkun Suck! Postcards. Postcards! As for the Eamon Ho postcards, I knew I'd be getting a lot of really great messages from all of you guys, which I did, so I chose it completely at random, and the winning Facebook comment was from Roxanne Foster. Congratulations, you win the Eamon Ho postcards. 
Thank you everyone for your amazing comments and your continued love and support. You helped me make Holly you back. I, I wouldn't ha want to do Holly you back as much as I want to do Holly you back if it wasn't for all of your great comments and love and support. And I already said that. And I keep repeating myself because I'm getting emotional bubbles. Thank you guys. I love you guys. Happy travel watching. See ya. Bye.